All right, guys, it's Sunday Fun Day. I'm going to try to slam through this the best I can. So before we get started with the 15 watches, big loadout. The way this works is I'm connecting the buyer and the seller. That's all I'm doing, right? So you're the buyer, and then the sellers have sent me the watches. I hold the watches, and I've shown them, and I'm telling you what they are. And then I will ship them. You will pay me for the shipping, but you're going to pay the seller direct. I will give you all the information if you are the buyer selected. The buyer selected is the first one that emails me that only email me if you're actually buying. Don't email me with questions because I won't email you back. If you're buying, I will email you back with very clear detailed instructions. Follow them and then you will continue to be the buyer. If there's any sort of hiccup or something, I'm just going to have to move on because it's very difficult to manage the communications on 15 watches being sold all at once, okay? So just work with me, guys. All right, first up, the Orient Star 200-meter diver with the power reserve indicator up there at the 12. Uh, I don't have the part number handy with me right now, guys, but uh, you can look this one up. This one also, it's a limited edition. I think it's number 1180 of uh, 1200. Comes with a silicon band as well. Comes with the box and everything. Pretty much everything's gonna come with the boxes unless I tell you otherwise. Let's just do that. Uh, this guy's running at plus 15 seconds. Dial up on my time grapher, and I will let this one go for $275. You can see it's still in very good condition. There's slight wear, as it was a worn watch, but it is not beat up at all. It's still in really good condition. 275 plus shipping. Everything's gonna be plus shipping. Next up is an Orient M Force. This guy here is running at plus 10 seconds. This is the, obviously the red dial variant. And this one does have a slight misalignment with uh, whatever, the chapter, or the, I don't know. It's slightly misaligned, but only $175. And again, in great condition, slight micro scratches on the clasp to be expected on a used watch. Overall in excellent shape in its uh, condition. Like I said, running plus 10 seconds and only $175 on that guy. Next up, we have a Citizen Quartz Diver here in grade five titanium, beautiful watch, super lightweight, comes on a very comfortable strap, and this thing's also uh, satellite receiving. So super accurate timepiece here, guys. Um, on the larger side, but very comfortable because of the titanium. It's very light. This is called the CC5001-00W or 00W, I'm not really sure. This one will be $625 and it is like, it's legit a <laughs> killer watch. So if you like uh, satellite receiving GPS time signal watches in grade five titanium, this is your watch right here, okay? Uh, 625 on that. Next up, another titanium. This is the Citizen BY0084-56E. This thing will be $495. This has that Duratec on it, so it's very scratch-resistant coating on it. Um, and this has been worn, but overall, I don't see, like, any marks. Uh, like, legit, if I were... There's a few of these watches on the table. If I had any sort of money in my watch fund, I would pick them up, guys. And this is one of them, actually. So at $495, Sapphire Crystal, this thing is just a killer, killer watch. And it's super lightweight. Um, next up, we'll do a very affordable watch. This is the Timex Allied Collection, the TW2T30300VQ. And basically, like, brand new. I don't see any problems with this one. Insane cool strap that it comes with. And this guy here will only be 50 bucks. So super, super good deal there. Next up, another good, really good deal on this one. G-Shock GAX-100B at only $40. So excellent shape on this guy as well. Pretty clean. Don't have any problems with this one. And just a... Uh, a fancier GA100 it has the tide and everything like that. Pretty cool watch. I like it. I like the hands on it too. All right, next up we'll do another Citizen. This is, I guess we're calling it the Nighthawk. This is the BJ7000-52E. Had a retail price of 395 Nighthawk. 
and we will do this one for insane deal. I remember owning a couple of these in the past, and this one's in really good condition. Actually, I'm going to say it's pretty much brand new. I don't see, there's not even any scratches on the case back. $125, plus it comes with this extra strap, which I'm not sure if this strap was originally included or not, or if it was picked up extra, but um, it's an infinitely adjustable fabric strap. I don't think that's leather. Um, with the clasp system. So 125 bucks, can't beat that, plus shipping. Um, next up, we're gonna move up the scale a little bit. We have a Longines, Avigation, Big Eye. And this guy is running flat line, zero, plus minus zero, it's in perfect shape. Does not have the big, big box that mine came with, with the big book, it has like a smaller Longines box, but it does, it does come with the box. So uh, overall great condition, strap is still really in nice shape. Uh, this guy, lowest price you will ever see on one of these, 1250 bucks. I know, the owner's probably going to be mad at me for doing it for that, but that gets it sold right now, and I get it. Like, things are not things are tight for people right now, $1,250, I know that thing's going to sell. Uh, let's see, next up, Oris, Big Crown Pointer Date, display case back. This thing is also running flatline plus minus zero it is running perfect so uh, on this like uh, alligator strap really nice comfortable watch and a little bit more of a traditional look to an oris big crown pointer date this guy here again killer deal i think we're going to do 750 dollars on this one 750 i couldn't even find this actual model i don't i don't understand it like they didn't make it very long or something because i cannot find them at all and they don't carry them anymore it's not in their catalog anymore and i can't find any record of them but it's called the oris big crown original so if you look it up next up again i had a hard time pricing this one but this is the mont blanc 40 millimeter i think it's 40 yeah, 40 millimeter salmon dial heritage just a killer watch and a beautiful strap on this watch for sure Italian alligator strap. It's so good, so comfortable. It's a great pairing with that darkish gray with that salmon dial. This thing is running at a plus one second, so almost flatline right there. Uh, curved spring bars on that too, I just noticed. This guy here, this has got to be one of the best prices you're going to find on one of these. $950, $950 bucks on that one. And it comes with the most comfortable watch pillow you will ever find in a watch case. I know that sounds weird, but if you buy it and you squeeze that pillow, you'll be like, wow, this is nuts. Okay, another really affordable one here. The Filson Scout. Has the oversized date, has the second time zone. Just a cool, fun, you know, beat around watch. A heavy duty leather strap on this. $135. No box with this one. No box. $135 bucks plus shipping. Next up, uh, my personal watch that I ended up buying that I basically wore on the house once, never really wore, figured I'd just let it go. Someone's going to get a killer deal because I'm going to do this one, knew they're like 400 bucks. Uh, I'm going to do this one for 210 and it comes with a really cool tin that matches it all and a box. So whether you want to wear it or collect it or something like that, it's just a really cool or get a nice gift, 210 bucks on this guy. Uh, let's see, MMI Turret. So I think this is one of the earlier generations ones. This guy's running at a plus eight second. Uh, I did notice that this one screw sticks out a little bit further. So I don't know if that needs to be filed down or what the deal is with that. Um, so keep that in mind. That's a little weird. So if you go in with a micro adjust, it'll hit. So I think just file that down or something. I'm not gonna mess with it guys. Uh, 150 bucks on this thing. And it has like the little box that it comes with. It's not like crazy good packaging or anything. Next up, no box with this one. This is a Notice Sector in very good condition. I don't see any marks on it or anything. I have all the links and everything, but there's gonna be no box with this one. Actually still has some plastic on it. Uh, this one's running plus six seconds and it's the uh, Notice Sector dial, like more field type watch, has the date. 150 bucks on this one, 150. And then the last one, is the Seagull 42 millimeter. This one's running at plus eight seconds, has that really cool display case back. It's mounted on a Barton leather 22 millimeter strap. Uh, 
top green leather. Uh, I gotta say this Barton leather strap is awesome. I think I would end up buying more Barton straps if they would just do a taper. If they just taper their leather straps, I'd be all about these Barton leathers. Uh, this one's really good, it's really comfortable, but 22 millimeter with no taper, it works, but it would be nice if I had a taper. Just side note, I know I got off topic there. But 150 bucks on this one, uh, just a really cool, fun, affordable chronograph. Wow, okay, I'm done. I'm gonna kill the lights, just so you guys can see whatever loom is on the table. Thanks for watching, good luck. Oh, yeah, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. If you wanted to watch, you probably should have just went down to the description and all that information's there. Good luck.